this is a public service announcement about white noise. It probably won't be for you. That was a very aggressive intro. Let's peel back. I shouldn't assume I know your taste in films. I'm just going off what I assume general audiences will feel about white noise because I put myself kind of in that boat. Granted, I see a ton of movies all the time and I think I'm pretty good at dissecting the plots and where the director's trying to go with things. Sometimes I miss the mark, but I think for the most part, uh, I've got it down pat. So let me say this without spoiling anything in white noise. If you saw a trailer, which I didn't, I'm going to assume it presents it as a thriller or a scary film or a horror or something. It's not. It's not scary in the slightest. Do not watch this movie if you're looking to be scared for an hour and a half on the edge of your seat. For starters, the movie is long. Way too long as usual. This film's over two hours. What the hell is happening with movies now? Not every movie needs to be two plus hours. Let's get back. Let's get back to an hour and a half. Hour 45, please, I'm begging you. So at two hours and 16 minutes, Adam Driver plays a character named Jack. In 1980 something, 86, it doesn't freaking matter. The movie makes sure you know it's in the 80s because it puts every piece of merchandise it possibly can in front of you. Coke and Pepsi bottles, Cheerios boxes, Twix, KFC buckets. They're all prominently displayed throughout the house. This family's incredibly messy and apparently they eat cereal 24 seven, which to be fair, I do like a nice bowl of cereal in the middle of the night, but I mean, come on. After a while, I turned, I said, this is insulting, so it has to be on purpose. And then as the movie progressed, I knew, oh, <laughs> it is on purpose. This is not a by the numbers film at all. This is a movie about symbolism. This is a movie reeking with metaphors. This is not really a movie at all that general audiences will like. This is a movie for the art house critics. This is for the film student. This is for the people that want a deeper message underneath this surface level flick. Now the problem is, some movies knock that out of the park. Some movies bridge the gap between general audience inclusion and the art house lovers. This film does not. You cannot go into a film like this like you're watching a Twister or a Poltergeist or an edge of your seat ride. This is very much a slow, plotting flick that goes all over the place. There are several bizarre plots going on, ranging from Hitler studies to a woman taking a mysterious drug to a giant evil cloud that's possibly poisonous and killing everyone so they have to abandon their home. You have no idea where the film's going until the final moments when, aha, okay, I get it. I get what the message is here, but that didn't make the trip getting there any more enjoyable. Now, it's not outright bad either. That's the problem. That's the that's the trick. Uh, the dialogue is is witty at points. The the characters all kind of speak the same way, like they're on an episode of Gilmore Girls. They have some fun observational humor. They all talk very fast, whether they're eight years old or a full grown adult. They all kind of have a dark sense of humor. I didn't watch trailer for this, like I said, I had no idea what I was going to get into. Had I had a little bit of a concept of this film before watching, I might have enjoyed it more. So that was my goal with this video, just give you a heads up, White Noise is not a straightforward movie. Uh, the last couple minutes, I was dumbfounded by what I watched, I was like, really, this is what we're doing to end the film? Oh my god, why? Why? I know it's based on a book as well. Um. Visually speaking, it's pretty cool looking. It did have a lot of shades of Spielberg. There is one scary moment that lasts a couple minutes and I was genuinely a little bit scared in that moment. I thought, okay, wow, we're really going somewhere, but then it's, it's fleeting. But yeah, I brought up Poltergeist for a reason because it did seem like the movie was trying to channel that a little bit with the family dynamic and uh, some of the cinematography was spot on. Adam Driver puts in a solid performance. He's always putting in the work. Nothing like mind blowing here. Greta Gerwig's in this as the wife, also a treat. I watched the whole movie. Granted, I was really close a couple times to just shutting it off and walking away, but I'm like, at this point I want to review it. At this point I at least want to let people know what to expect. And as it wound down, I thought to myself, okay, yeah, there is some clever stuff here. There is some great commentary about human nature. 
how we bury our heads in products and ignore what's actually the most important thing in our lives, which is the lack of living at some point. We're all going to die at some point and how some of these other stories tie in. It is clever. That's white noise. This is the review. Subscribe if you like my content, like the video if you had a good time, and hopefully I see you around the channel. Take care.